Hello everyone and welcome to another episode in my Dutch campaign. Now we're going to continue the war against France, but, um, here. Someone said that they expected this war would end in France no longer being a great power, and, oh, shit, I'm fighting their army. But, um, that's not going to happen, because, like, even if, I need to pull out of that, but even if France, you know, completely loses this, which, I mean, looks like it's going to happen, um, they're really still not going to lose anything except this region here. Um, and a little bit of prestige, maybe. So, it's it's not going to kick them out of being a great power. But both of my armies are under attack. And, you know, we're going to easily be able to defend Paris here. France wants white peace again. But here, um... See, I don't know what I should do here because uh, I'm losing that battle, but I think I'll kill more of their. Oh, how dare them! How dare they! I mean. All right, so we gotta. Let's see. It'll take a while for them to occupy that. I mean, so. Just go out and. Whoops, did not mean for that to go out there. Oh well. Let's want to peace again. How's this battle going? Actually, we're doing pretty well here. We've killed a ton of them. And we won in Paris pretty easily. Let's look here. We've got... There's a Hanoverian army taking Paris also, so I am going... I don't know what the adjective for Hanover is, but um, I'm going to go up here and retake my land. And here, the battle is pretty even now. Um, actually, I just won that. That was amazing. Awesome. Switzerland's out of the war. Oh, hey, we won. Alright. Coolio. Alright, but they, France made another decision completely unrelated. So, they've decided to... Well, here. The Valley of the Kings, Egypt, is a potentially endless source of new archaeological discoveries. By petitioning the... Well, I don't understand how it is potentially endless, but okay. By petitioning the Egyptian government for a monopoly to carry out excavations in the Valley of the Kings, we can ensure that we make these fantastic discoveries rather than another great power. And cool. Um, Prussia renamed Alsace-Lorraine, um, Alsace so now it's Alsace-Lothringen. Um, and yeah, these new places have German names now, instead of the French ones that they started with. Um, look here. Hmm. So I can't petition for the, um, for the what's it called? Can't petition for, um, Valley of the Kings. But wow, I'm making a ton of money right now. Oh yeah, and we've got to pull my troops out of South America here. After our great victory there. Um see diplomatic map mode. We have a truce here until 
the 10th of August, so we can't attack there. It's Siam for now. And there aren't really any under... I mean, there aren't any good... Maybe Persia or something would actually be a good target for colonization. Kind of around here. Maybe. Could sort of have Dutch Persia, you know, British India kind of thing. Um, I'm going to split one of the split one of the infantry units off from there to go equalize the armies. France is trying to gain power here. Brazil. I don't think so. Oh, border incident here. So, one of our citizens was arrested today by police from a neighboring country charged with spying on our on their defensive installations along our mutual border. The only problem with the arrest is that the citizen in question was arrested, contrary to the claims made by our neighbor, on our side of the border. The local chief of police has demanded from his colleague on the other side of the border that the Dutch national be immediately released and that the Netherlands be issued an official apology. So regardless, we can justify war. But, unfortunately, I have just gotten a um, peace treaty with France, so I can't break that without losing a lot of prestige. Oh wait, no, gaining, it's either losing a lot of prestige or gaining a lot of infamy. I don't know which one it is, but either way, it's a lot, and it is not worth declaring war. Um, normally I would do it, but, yeah, damn it, so what a waste. If we look at great powers, yeah, France is still third. Their military is really not so good anymore. Let's see, look at this. So they've got, um, 36 land brigades and 102 ships. A lot of ships, but not that many um, land units. And I have 40 and 46. So I could take a region from them, probably. Especially with Prussia helping. We look here, Prussia is another step closer to creating Germany. There, let's pay back our debt, actually. a lot of soldiers here. If you look here, soldiers are 7% of the population. And the religious, I think, the, yeah, the religious balance has changed a little bit with the acquisition of Vietnam. So now we have some Mahayana people. And Vietnamese now make up 13.8% of our population. So, but Dutch are still the majority. Barely. Second is Javan. Anyway, no projects? Huh. But the, um... Factories seem to be doing a little bit better. We don't have any losing money right now. I mean, we have a few losing money is what I'm saying. We don't have very many that are not doing so well. Just got lost in my thinking there. My bad. Um. Oh, uh, no. This general's dead. Oh, well. Now we have this guy. How good is this guy? This guy's pretty good, actually. Yeah, a lot of... Sometimes it's even a lot to ask for people just not to negative bonuses.
French have a factory there? I mean, like, come on. Actually, a lot of people live here. In these regions. Like, a ton. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to expand into... This, into Ghana here. When I can. Which is not now. So right now we're basically going to sit back and wait to be able to colonize something. Yeah, but I still am interested in taking some French land. Just whenever I get a chance. It's not any sort of immediate thing. Probably up here, or something. Just make Greater Netherlands area. It's probably... Greater Netherlands area is probably like... something like that. I don't know. Just drawing lines that I like. Yeah, the United States is... Uh, they have Oregon now. I think they've had... Yeah, they've had Oregon for a while. But they have not... Oh, they have done Manifest Destiny, so they do have a claim on all this Mexican land here, but... I don't know when they're gonna take it. In an interesting situation here. The Confederacy... has... no allies. That's the problem. And... They no longer have a truce with America, I guess. It's the thing. There are actually some... Oh. So, Sokoto... Is now... I already invaded them before, but oh well. I'm not going to invade them again, but I mean... all this farmland. This is probably the biggest farmland cluster in the whole world. Um, just realistic, I guess, though. All that cotton. Yeah, we can go look at our railroads, actually. Oh my god, my mouse is lagging. Is it better? Yeah. Good enough. Okay, so we yeah, have basically... All of Vietnam is getting railroads now. All my colonies have railroads. Just check to make sure I can't colonize any new places. Can't colonize here. So the only place I can colonize is this island, which is... which will be mined soon. And I know I can put military units there to go faster, but I mean... Well, you know, why don't I, I guess? It only takes one. Oh, this guy died. This guy's good too, though. if my budget allows me to go. Spain owes a lot of money to me. Whoops. Yeah, almost half the money that I that peop of the almost half the money I'm owed is from Spain. Alright, come on. I don't know why you don't start out with this island colonized. Maybe it's realistic or something, but... I mean... Dutch are gonna colonize all of this stuff. Why wouldn't they take that? Why wouldn't they take this also and this? I don't know. But yeah, now we have a, um... 2% bonus here. 